Joyita, this is no coincidence. This has been done deliberately. It's well timed. And uh, we can't let it go. There has to be answerability for this. It just can't be a combing operation and we're done with it. There has to be answerability for it. And the entire Pakistan establishment, including its army, now needs to be, be held answerable. This has become too much now. Yes, I mean, this has Pakistan written all over it. You know, this is what exactly they do. Anything related to Hindus, Hinduism, they have been doing it for a long time, you know. But then all they have been targeting, say, for example, during Janmashtami, during uh, ahead of Diwali, during Diwali, they have been targeting our Jawans, the BSF people, the uh, Indian Army people. Now they are targeting soft targets, like soft targets Hindu pilgrims. So yeah. the whole point I is I mean, we know what happened with the Amarnath Yatra pilgrims. Yes. But, but the, it's a soft target. Forget the soft target. We know exactly at the time that has happened exactly. and what on the day it has happened. Okay? Yes. And the, it has happened primarily because of this so that there will be politics in the country. We'll be all be discussing this. The Right now as we speak, the PM is meeting all the dignitaries who have come from all over, all over South Asia. Not the Pakistanis, not invited. So there has to be answerability bottom line. Himanshu, but there has to be answerability uh, this can't just be a combing operation and we'll deal with it later. There has to be answerability and probably in quick time. No, 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 no combing operation and leaving it that. It's a challenge thrown and now Modi 3.0 will reply back the challenge in a way that Pakistan should remember for forever. This has just started, you know. This has just started and that was the worry. People thought that depleted Modi in a coalition government would take up anything. What we did for 10 years in a coalition government, we were just keeping quiet. We kept quiet on 8-11. But that is not going to happen now. There has to be an answerability and there yeah. has to be the people answered. People should be taught a lesson that they don't forget for that. There was a surgical strike, all right. But this answer has to be really brutal. Okay, it's a challenge thrown and it's a deadly it's a challenge. challenge thrown. Alok, Alok ji, it, this is not a coincidence. This is not something uh, arbitrary that has happened. It's been done very deliberately. Uh, now the question, of course, is what's the answerability from Pakistan, period. Yeah, that's why I think uh, because uh, India always demanded that we should uh, uh, call uh, Pakistan as a uh, terrorist country. You know, all the time they are attacking the, our democracy, any festival or the foreign dignities also there. So now the world was watching the whole uh, oath ceremony and this time they attacked it. So in the beginning, we talk, somebody was talking why we are not invited. This is the reply this kind of attack if they do, how we can invite them to have some food here and dinner. Because after killing of so many innocent people in India, I think this is the right time, then we should talk very strongly, discuss with the major countries, because Prime Minister is also going for some major talk in Switzerland, on the Ukraine crisis and all. This kind of uh, attack, I think we'll uh, Prime no, no, Minister forget it. Uh, if you're take. thinking that yeah. we'll get world sympathy and world support, that's going to achieve nothing. There has to be answerability, pure and simple. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Rao, after a point now, as citizens of the country, uh, come on, who's, what are you fooling? We know what you've done, why you've done it, what the purpose was was behind doing it. And now simply, simply there has to be answerability, period. The Pakistani army has to now face accountability. There's no point sending them some dossiers. Yes. Uh, we have been pacifists for too long. And uh, in Hindi, there is that old saying, Tato ke bhoot bato se nahi mante. We have stopped uh, talking to them. Uh, it is high time we remove the cause of this problem. And uh, we have already seen with the surgical strike that uh, um, their uh, nuclear threat is not going to work. It is about high time uh, something is uh, this is put an end to. And as you will have seen in the Pakistan occupied Kashmir, there have been many demands uh, uh, wondering why India is not supporting them. We are uh, saying that they are part of India. We are saying that they are uh, represented in the assembly and in the parliament. Then what is happening? So, yeah, so that's uh, okay. If they it keep attacking us, if they keep killing us like this, we can't just be... No, they keep system. doing it and they're in, yeah. for the people living in Pakistan, especially the people of Pakistan, now this is your problem. The okay. fact that you can't establish a democracy is your problem. The fact that an army that has lost every war it's ever fought still rules your country is your problem. The fact that you couldn't set up a constitution and couldn't figure it out till 1973, your problem. And the fact that your country has gone bankrupt doing this is your problem. 
you have to deal with it we will deal with you period and that's the sad reality of where pakistan is in a dark hole and being unable to reemerge and there has to be answerability and accountability for this period there's nothing else to be done coming operation then we do intelligence operation forget all that uh, this is been done deliberate, deliberately it's been done in a heinous and, and diabolical fashion and uh, we can have the brickbats back home we'll keep having the brickbats back home but they'll only be answered when the pakistani army actually feels the force of the consequences of doing all of this for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon